Hi, I'm Jake Solomon, the creative director of XCOM, and I'm here with a way for you to experience XCOM from a unique perspective. Traditionally, XCOM has used a zoomed out overhead tactical camera so players can see the entire battlefield. Players only get brief glimpses of what the game looks like from the ground level. What you may not know is that there's full camera control that can be turned on at any time. Doing so while you're in HQ can let you take a first person tour of the Avenger. Now to activate this mode, you need only two things, XCOM 2 on Steam and a gaming controller. Now first, you'll need to enable the game's dev commands. Detailed directions on how to do this and more can be found in the blog linked in the description below. If you already have our modding tools installed, then you're ready to board the ship. If not, right click on XCOM 2 in your Steam library, select properties, then set launch options underneath the general tab, then type in dash allow console, all as one word, and then hit OK. Next, launch the game. Once you're in the Avenger, hit the tilde or backslash keys. This opens up the command line where you can enter any of our dev commands. For the debug camera, you'll want to type toggle debug camera, all as one word. Now you're ready to pick up the controller and put yourself into the Avenger. See it exactly as your soldiers do. There are a ton of details our team put into the Avenger that you would never see with a regular camera. Head to the living quarters and climb into a soldier's bunk to learn a little more about them. Stretch your legs by heading to the roof of the Avenger to soak in the scenery or leave the ship entirely to take a hike. See the Sky Ranger up close and head inside to take a seat. Check out some relics from the first war in the commander's quarters. Have a staring contest with Tigan, Shen, Central, or any of your staff. Go take a break from the aliens, explore the Avenger, head to the barracks, and spend some quality time with your troops. Good luck, Commander.